Hey, welcome back to Danford Golf Instruction. Today we're going to talk about the right leg. It's kind of the ignored leg when it comes to the golf swing. We're going to talk about what it needs to be doing in the backswing, what it needs to be doing in the downswing for you to be successful. Because if your right leg isn't doing what it needs to be doing, you're going to come into contact with a lot of those players that have early extension or just some simple swing faults because their right leg is there, it's misunderstood. Okay, so as always, make sure you like the video. The more likes, the happier it's gonna make me because of course more people are gonna see the video. So make sure you give us a like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe so you can see any upcoming videos that we will have coming out in the next few weeks. So the right leg is our main concept that we're talking about today. So again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Uh, and give us a like. We spend lots of time making these videos, so the more support you can throw our way, uh, it really helps us out. So, our right leg, what should we do? So let's talk about the backswing first. So, one of the things that I see most misunderstood is people really like to turn their hips. Which, of course, it's not a bad thing, okay? Turning your hips is a great thing, but you gotta make sure you're doing it the right way, okay? So one way that is mostly done incorrectly is they turn their hips, but they just basically turn so much that that front knee goes really far forward and they really load that front side up, all right? And then if we look at it from down the line here, same thing. This lead gets forward and this butt, your hips actually get closer to it. That's one of the biggest reasons why people early extend is they get here, they've turned a lot, and then they come forward because they never actually got deep or deeper into their hips. And so they basically lost it because they didn't move their right leg the right way. So if we're looking from down the line, what we'd like to see is basically, we're looking to basically sit in to that like right hip capsule here. We're looking for the leg to kind of shove backwards, right? So if I put a line off of my butt, all right, I want it to get deeper into it, all right? This is called internal hip rotation rather than just hip turn. Okay, so it should get deeper into it. And then that right leg, it is going to straighten a little bit to help you get deeper into it. And by this time, there should be a lot of weight into your heel. With the iron, we're looking for weight on your back foot and your heel around 65, 70%, all right? But that will help you get into the heel, help get your hips deeper, and then it's extraordinarily hard for you to move that much forward. So it's already gonna help you not really extend as much, all right? or if you do it correctly, not at all. All right, so we get deep into that heel, all right, butt moves backwards, and our knee straightens a little bit, doesn't lock, okay? From face on, all right, if you put alignment rod or anything, as you move back into that, you're gonna notice that my hip actually moves away from it. Yeah, it's turning, but it's just getting deep, okay? If you look at my front leg, you're gonna notice it'll come out a little bit, but that's just because my right leg is getting out of the way. Okay, so that is what we're looking for in your takeaway. So if we check out a takeaway, we're looking for the right hip to really sit deep as you take it to the top. All right, right leg on the downswing. This is huge. All right, if you're an early extender, you're looking to get more power, right leg on the downswing is a key. All right, so let's imagine that you've already learn how to get your right leg deep into the top of your backswing. You're in a good position, all right? What we do from here is basically, you're gonna feel like your right leg stays back, okay? If you've seen some of my earlier videos, uh, it's Sam Sneed, kind of the squat video. This is why he looks like he squats. So he gets deep and then his hips start to turn out of the way, all right? And it looks like our knees kind of separate from each other, all right? It's kind of a little bit of a squat move. So you're gonna get that deep, little bit of squat and this is where the debate kind of comes in contact do I feel like I pull with my left side do I feel like I push with my right side neither one is wrong all right everybody's gonna do it a little bit differently everybody's gonna feel it differently you might feel like you're pulling with your left side but you're actually pushing with your right side no matter what it is the right leg needs to be doing something all right so we're at the top of our swing we're deep right we start to separate, we start to turn. 
all right? I like to feel like my weight kind of stays onto my heel and move and pushes into my left toe, all right? Because I like to swing into out and that's the, uh, the basically the footwork or the weight shift pattern that I'd like to see for the inside out type of swing, all right? And then when you get here, that right leg, you've always seen it, it kind of rolls into the inside and then up, okay? That is pretty big, rolls and then up, okay? A lot of the time we see a lot of golfers, they get here and their first move, even if they get here first is that right knee really jets forward. I don't want your right knee, so if you put a line from when you begin, if you get here, I don't want to see that right knee get back in front of your original starting line, all right? It should go there and then turn inside of it, okay? So you're going to feel like your kneecap is kind of shooting down towards your foot rather than kind of out and away. So you're going to get there, it's going to feel like it points down at your foot, and you're all the way through, okay? So that's kind of basically as simple as I can make it for what the right leg should be doing. We're going to try to get deep, we're going to stay deep, we're going to square the hips back up, foot rolls in, knee points at the toe, and we're all the way through, okay? That is basically, if you focus on what your right leg should be doing, it's going to help you maintain some of your width when you start off. You still might early extend a little bit, but it's not going to be near to the extent, so automatically you should be hitting the golf ball better. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. If you need something a little bit more kind of precise, uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I can try to maybe spruce it up a little bit with another video. All right, and as always, like us, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video on what the right leg should be doing. All right, I hope you get out there and you play a lot better golf.